Hello, my uh, fellow um, uh, a apes. We're not apes. We're uh, descended. Well, I'm just gonna say descended from uh, apes, but we're not, are we? We're uh, descended from a common ancestry from which both apes and us humans came from, so that's good. Anyways, didn't expect to, <laughs> to talk about that. Uh, here I am, playing some FTL. I didn't expect to have so many problems with this. Uh, the options. There, so, there's full screen, uh, native full screen mode is completely fucking broken. Um, it like... It, it does do full screen, but things are kind of blurry and weird, and if you click off the screen then try to go back, or like if you go to, if you like, I'll tab out, if you go to a different window, then you come back to FTL, it's like, kind of, the window, the whole window is like shifted down beneath your taskbar so you can't see the whole screen, and there's no way to get it back unless you go into the settings and then turn off full screen, then you have to restart the game. Which is completely fucking annoying, so I have it on stretch, which seems to work, uh, work perfectly. Uh, Music down a bit. Um, I've been playing a lot of FTL lately. Uh, it's one of my favorite games. Best music in any game ever. Uh, that's my meal personal belief. That I, I love this music so much. Um, but yeah, this game uh, was not going very well. I'm completely fucked in this. My weapons are shit. I can't escape. I have a clone bay. I hate clone bays so much. I have a clone bay and my guys keep dying because they keep sending... Um, these border drones over, and I just, I can't get them, and they've just fucked my ship. So, instead of playing that, go to main menu, um... Yes. So, these are the ships that I've unlocked. I haven't actually gotten the last two. I've, I've played, uh, I've actually just reached... Don't know if, yeah, there we go, that's gonna record. Um, I've just recently reached 100 hours, and I still haven't unlocked the last, uh, well, three ships, actually. Um, so that's vaguely annoying. I really want to get this thing, but... <laughs> fucking 100 hours later, I still haven't gotten it. Uh, I'm gonna be, I'm basically, I'm trying to get the Rock Cruiser right now, and I, for the last, like, 20 hours, I've been playing with the Slug Cruiser. I hate the Slug Cruiser so much. Worse than the Mantis ship. I actually love the Mantis ship compared to the Slug Cruiser. The Slug Cruiser is terrible. Uh, the A variant is better than the B variant. I haven't, I don't, I haven't unlocked the C variant yet. Um, which I'm gonna be trying to do. That's, that's, what, that's my goal. Uh, the A variant is okay, it starts with okay stuff, not great. Um, the layout of the ship is absolutely dreadful. Uh, the airlocks are really shit spots. The B variant, I think the layout of the ship is definitely my favorite, but the weapons and just the start is so bad. You take so much damage right at the start, it sucks. Uh, but unfortunately I have to play with the, I have to get to sector 8 with the B variant to unlock the C variant, which I really want to try out. Hopefully I'll, I'll be able to defeat the... Uh, flagship at the end, and then get the Rock Cruiser with the C variant. So that's my goal. Uh, play with the B variant. I just need to get to Sector 8. If I if I can manage that, I will be happy. And I'm going to be playing on easy because I'm crap at this game, even after 100 hours. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Um, but frankly, <laughs> I don't really... It's too hard. This ship is too hard. B variant of the slug thing is far too difficult. If you've never played FTL, um, you're basically... I'll just start it. There we go. Um, pause. There we go. Uh, it's kind of like a you pause and then you shoot people and you're trying to get to Sector 8 and uh, you're jumping to various places and trying to get scraps so you can upgrade your ship and buy things and you... Various stuff happens. It's a roguelite. It's a very famous game. I'm sure you've heard of it. I'm sure you know exactly what's happening, so I'm not going to explain it anymore. Anyways, uh, this ship, uh, the B variant of the Slug Cruiser, doesn't actually come with a med bay or clone bay. You have this healing uh, bomb, which is terrible. And it has this teleporter, which it's a size 2 teleport. It's completely useless if you're boarding ships. Like, in the first two sectors, it's, it's okay, I guess, if you have like rock people or mantis people but if you don't have them it's just stupid because you're gonna take so much damage and i guess yay you have this fucking healing bomb uh, it's just bad it's just a bad ship i hate it and as soon as possible and it's actually kind of lucky uh, there's this store here as soon as possible i like to sell both of these weapons i don't really use missiles uh, much um I, li I like to sell both of these weapons and just get any laser weapon that has two shots at least. Um, yeah. Oh dear. 
Yeah, I playing with this ship. I really miss the uh, what's it? The uh, first ship they get. Ooh. First ship they get. I really miss it. It's pretty easy uh, to win with ship. The first one. Of course. Yeah. Especially like at, at least at the very least, it's an Artemis. So. <laughs> I'm actually able to damage things. But I mean like oh god, imagine if I was just stuck with like the healing bomb and like maybe a fire bomb or something. I mean I guess that would be okay if you didn't find any automated ships. <laughs> Yay, now I have two healing bursts. Awesome. I can double heal myself. And I go to the store now that I have a bit more scrap and uh, another weapon as well. Oh another weapon. Shitty thing. And they do Oh, that's good luck. I like that. Okay. Uh, so, I swear, every single time I play with this ship, I cannot get a, a med bay. But, I mean, I guess clone bay will have to do. So, sell, sell. I generally like to keep the slug repair gel, basically just automatically repairs any hull breaches. That, along with the fire suppression system, is really great because you can just... You don't really have to worry about fire or... Um, fire or hull breaches. You can just kind of sit there and wait for them to... Go away, you don't have to take much damage. Uh, I'm gonna buy that. And I guess I'll sell the Artemis. Because. Oh no, no, I do have enough to uh, power it if I do that. Actually, I'm not gonna be using teleporter anytime soon, so there we go. Um, yeah, okay. Should be good. I don't tend to use drones because you just have to pour a lot of money into the drone subsystem where. I mean, I, I, I accept that they're quite useful sometimes. Like, if you get the supercharging shield drone uh, and a hull, hull repair drone, that's, like, a super useful combo because you can just stay alive for fucking hours. I, uh, that's how I defeated the... Um, that's how I defeated the rebel uh, flagship with the Mantis Cruiser, the excessively difficult to fucking use Mantis Cruiser. Oh, shit. Oh, well. Uh, I had a supercharging shield drone that basically... Uh, would apply one bit of extra shield to you uh, periodically, and then I could just repair my hull. And I had like an I had like thirty drone parts or something, and so it was super easy. Uh, oh shit, that's fucking bad. I better um, finish this quick. Oh, wrong one. Shit. This guy just went in. Uh, power, there we go. Yeah, I don't really need. Uh, oh, I suppose I should do that. I should. There we go. I don't really need uh, shields now because they just have an ion, a single ion weapon. It's not going to do much. Mm, just to be sure, take out the weapons. Generally, at the start, I try to get. Uh, and one more shield as fast as possible so that I'm running on two shields because most of the enemies in the first two sectors um, either don't have missiles or can only... What's the... Enter? Oh, that's a really awkward. Oh, those are awkward keys. Uh, they either they don't have missiles so they can't uh, breach your shields if you have two shields or... Is that charge there? Uh, or they only have like... Uh, what's the beam? I don't know. They they either have that, or do they just have like a shitty beam and a uh, like a burst laser or something? Not a burst laser. Burst, la burst laser one has two shots. Oh. So yeah. Oh shit! Speaking of burst laser, uh, Mark one. <laughs> Holy shit! Cool. All right. I'll try to uh, get uh, upgrade my weapons actually instead. Intr so, uh, something that I, I don't really do is I don't really play with music. I mean, I don't really play with music in anything, but especially this game, I don't actually play with the music on. Even though it's my favorite music, I just have my own music on. Um, and by my own music, I mean, uh, I mean this game's soundtrack. I have this game's soundtrack playing in the background while I play the game, even though I could just have it on in the game. <laughs> it's kind of odd, but whatever. Actually, I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, the shields. I don't generally worry about um, 
the hacking drones, even if they're doing, like, even if they're hacking my weapons, I think the only time I actually worry about the hacking drones uh, is when they're after my shields. That's really the only time it, it actually matters because, I mean, unless you have a really, like, really terrible ship, then... Unless you have, like, a really terrible ship and they go after your weapons and, like, you're screwed if they go after your weapons, it really doesn't matter if they go after your weapons. Fucking no, man. I'm not going after that. So, yeah, so this is a pretty common pairing uh, really early on. That's like the heavy laser one or the hull... Is that a hull laser? I don't know. I saw the heavy one and the hull one. So that shoots one shot and this is a beam uh, that can't pass through shields. So this is a pretty common thing. So they'll shoot and then immediately uh, beam you. Uh, so if you have two shields, then you'll be completely fine. Which I do not, so I'm going to try and take down the weapons. Yeah, there you go. But, now, completely useless. Because their weapons are down. Uh, right, I think I was going to talk about uh, what I'm doing with this. So, I just decided that uh, it would be probably a pretty easy game to record and things. I'm actually going to turn down the music volume. It's a bit distracting. Might even add it in post. Yeah. Uh, no. So, basically, am I on fire? Or are they on fire? I hear fire. Just to be safe. Just close off the places that I can see them. Um... Right. What the hell was I even talking about? The series, right. Um, basically, I'm going to be splitting... Uh, right, yeah, yeah, sorry. I figured that this would be a pretty easy thing to record. Basically, um, one new episode per sector. And I just split each game, each individual game, into its separate, like, series or season, whatever you want to call it. Um... So basically, I just play one game, which will probably be like an hour, an hour and a half, and then upload that as a few episodes. I, I'll probably just upload them all together because I don't... Splitting them up like over days just seems like a kind of shitty thing to do, so... Plus, I don't really have any money to gain from this, so... It doesn't really matter. Um, so I'll just be uploading everything at the same time. Um, yeah. Fucking hell. What's all with all these people and their tools? Oh shit, I should probably close the fucking doors. Yeah. Oh, I should probably also upgrade my shields. That would be good. I completely forgot. Oh yeah, I actually put an extra uh, uh, bit into my weapons and then completely, um, like, yeah, I completely forgot. It. Oh shit. Good thing that I put that into my weapons, otherwise I wouldn't be able to use them right now. <laughs> I meant to put stuff into shields. I'll do that after this fight. Da -da -da. This game's actually going surprisingly well. I've only taken a bit of hull damage. I got the burst laser two really early on, and I also have a burst laser one. Can do some serious damage once I uh, get power from my weapons and the extra bit of shields. Uh, which I'll do now. Oops, there we go. Uh, unless they have missiles, I shouldn't really have to worry about only having one bit of uh, power in my engines. Hey, look, missiles. Looks like I. Yeah better to do that until I down their weapons okay actually you know what I don't really need that anymore go uh, repair my doors very I'm not uh, interested in burning myself out so very minimal editing as you probably found out, as I haven't... I've probably not cut anything in this. I imagine that I'm just going to be recording, and then... Oh shit, I didn't even notice there... Jesus Christ, come on. Oh, thank god. Should I just do it? Nah. Um... Yeah. Probably won't be doing any... Oh fuck, yeah, no, it's done. Oh. <laughs> yeah, fire away anyways. Uh, did I even get the- 
Oh shit, I didn't get the clone band. I don't have any way to heal them. Oh fuck. Well, at least I have this, because that would be unfortunate if I didn't be taking damage. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, I didn't get any scrap from that. God damn it. Sure. Sure, yes. Okay. Um, should I do that? Well, I need more power right now. Okay. Yeah. Oh shit, there's a fucking store right there. Okay. Whoops, I suppose I can, I can sell the Artemis. I won't be needing it anymore. Buy a fuel for two scrap. Sure. Cheap. I have three scrap now, yay. Uh, oh, Flak 2. I, I will admit I am a fan of the Flak 2. <laughs> I really like a combination of having two Flak 2 and like... I don't know, just something else like a... Just like a burst laser 2 or something. That is pretty devastating. You can take out pretty much any ship with that. Use the Flak 2s to take down shields. And then use the burst laser to, you know, do specific systems. It's pretty, pretty effective. Uh... Is there anything else? I guess the only thing I'd be interesting, interested in is the, uh, soul then. It's a flak too, but I don't have enough money for that. Um, right, weapons. There we go, that's all my money, but... There we go. And I will sell the Artemis. There we go, so now I have uh, five shots in total in between these. So that is pretty nifty. Anything else that I wanted to do? I can't buy anything, I can't buy that. It's not really useful right now. Um, can't buy anything, oh I could, uh, there we go. Okay, that's good, jump away. Exit. Actually, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, let's see how fast I can do this. Actually, do that and then that. There we go. Actually, I don't even need that. Boop. Alrighty. That was pretty fast. This is going really well so far. I am kind of astonished. Yeah, what I should have done is I should have jumped to here, then I could have jumped to here and then there. I'd only have to deal with uh, the one rebel ship, and it would have been that bad. So, where should I go? That is one episode. Um... I think I'll be going up. Uh, I don't really... I don't know. I don't really entirely understand the difference between green, red, and... Well, I understand what the... Um, yeah, I, I understand what the nebula sectors are, but... I, th I guess uh, the red ones just have generally have more dangerous ships. I know that, like, you know, the abandoned sector obviously has um, the Lanius and... Things like, you know, Mantis and Zoltan sectors generally have more of those races, but... I, I guess it's just a difference in damage, or like, um, danger of enemy ships. I don't know. Uh, go here, and I will end this episode. Start up the next one. So, uh, yeah. As the music is pretty, that is all. Um, see you in like five seconds. Goodbye.